Hey guys, welcome to yet another update video about the order and pickup system inside the restaurant template that is going live really, really soon. So again, I decided to make some improvements and with the help of a developer, the uh, omni-channel experience is much better now. So instead of just checking for the exception channels like WhatsApp, WhatsApp Cloud and Telegram that does not support gallery cards all too well, we now come up with a way into using the native UJet e-commerce even inside of those channels as well. The experience that I'm going to show you is first on a web view, a web chat, right? And then I will be switching towards Telegram, which basically has the exact, exact same experience as, um, uh, as for example, WhatsApp. So I want to show you the differences and how we managed to do that, right? So first of all, let me go into the preview. Um, I'm not going to touch the backend a little uh, for now at least, because that needs to be a little bit of a secret sauce that I'm going to share uh, when the template has been released. But for now, let's go and head into the previews. So first of all, let me preview from the web chat. And if, by doing so, let's go and just open it inside of a separate tab. And again, uh, we are going to make sure that we are going to capture the user's details first. So uh, we are going to capture the email. So let's go with the email at gmail.com. There we go. Perfect, thank you. And then it's going to check for the phone number. And because I, I decided to go with a blank account, let's also manage this. So let's go with just a random phone number for now. I will get a confirmation. And inside the confirmation, I will get the uh, email and the phone number I just gave. And it asked me to confirm this. So if I say yes, then we are going to get into the order system. And as you can see from the web chat point of view, uh, the web chat point of view, you will get the uh, gallery cards overviews. So if I say go to food, then I will get all the different foods inside of gallery cards. And I can just add them as I like to. So if I say I want to add French fries, let's go and add a medium and let's say four pieces we'll see it then get being added towards the card itself and let's do another one let's go with this Caesar salmon salad let's go with two and if we take a look at the card now you will see a nice overview of the card in gallery format right because this channel supports the galleries as it should and then we have the order total and then we can either continue ordering or check out and if we say check out then uh, I will just fill in my name. The email and phone number have been captured by the questions that I ask. And then let's say just place the order. You will then see that the order will be nicely formatted as you can see here, right? And you will also be added points depending on the order total. So in this case, the total uh, of the order was $47.94, which will be floored down to four points because by default, each, each $10 that you spend will be awarded for uh, one point. So in this case, $40 equals 40 points. So this is how it works inside of a web chat and all the channels that support the gallery cards overview. But now let's switch over to Telegram, which has the same, exact same experience as WhatsApp and show you how it works there. So if we preview this, but then in WhatsApp, uh, in Telegram, sorry, let's go there, open in the web browser, open Telegram, press start. Then I will be asked the exact same questions, uh, but I already gave all the information. So I will just get the confirmation. Let's say, yes, they are correct. Then we'll get into the ordering. And instead of getting gallery cards, we are now getting quick replies, right? So food or drinks. So let's go with food. And instead of gallery cards uh, displaying all the available foods, we are now just getting buttons. But upon the button press itself, for example, the, for example, the Caesar salmon salad, you will get a nice looking gallery card because one gallery card is supported in all channels properly. 
and this will allow us to add the product towards the cart. So let's do that as well. Let's say two. Let's add one more product so I can show you how the view cart looks like. So let's go with another one. Let's go with the chili beef burger. Let's add this towards the cart as well. Let's say we are going with five this time. And if we view the card now, you will not see it in gallery format because otherwise the gallery cards will be stacked vertically be below each other. So for example, if you have 10 products, it would really look uh, awful because you need to scroll all the way up till down before seeing all the card products. But if we say, take a look at view the card now, we will get a basically a formatted receipt but then instead of order details we are now also getting them for the card details so you will see we have a caesar salmon salad with a description four times 11.99 total product pricing will be 47 dollars 96 cents and then for the chili beef burger you get the exact same overview you will get the total items the subtotal and the total amount which makes it much more easier to view on the, those exception channels that do not accept gallery cards properly. And this way you can also use the native e-commerce of UChat itself on all the channels uh, that it supports, right? So you don't need to switch between a Facebook catalog, sync that with UChat and then use the WhatsApp native e-commerce. You can basically do that directly. And because we have a script that formats this, uh, the inside that script, we can also generate these buttons. And these buttons allow you to remove the things from the card. So if I want to remove the Caesar salad, right, times four, I can just press it and then it will be removed from the card. And as you can see, the card details have now been adjusted. Instead of including the Caesar salmon salad, it now only has a chili beef burger. And the checkout experience is pretty much the same uh, because if we check out, we go towards a web view, right? Or in this case with Telegram, it's basically a browser tab that will open. But you can see how easy it is to order inside of Telegram and WhatsApp now as well. So if I add, for example, a cola and I'm going to say press add to cart, add to and if I say view card, the card details have been nicely updated, as you can see here. We can say I'm going to remove the chili beef burger. And then you will see that cola is the only one that is still available there. On the checkout itself, you will see if we are going towards the checkout, checkout now. We are going to open a new browser tab because that's the experience inside of Telegram. And you will see all the products nicely aligned. Of course, now I only have the uh, Coda available, but if I say place order and go back towards the uh, Telegram, you will see that we have a nice looking order formatted in details as well, right? Please find below your order receipt. In this case, only a Coda, you have your order ID and we actually need to adjust the order ID to not include the currency. So that is something to improve. But you can see that it's really, really easy to use inside those exception channels that do not support uh, the proper use of gallery cards as well. So now you can, with this restaurant template in place and those scripts in place, you can now set up one e-commerce store directly inside of UChat in this case, and use that on any channel that you like to. And it will not affect the, uh, basically the shopping experience of the users on those exception channels because as you can see, it's really, really easy to use. And also the users will get to see the products once they have chosen the product. So this was the short update video that I wanted to show you the differences between the regular supported channels that do support gallery cards properly. And now with the formatted uh, script details for those exception channels to basically improve the experience of the user inside those channels. So if you are excited as I am, do consider dropping a like on this video because it will help me determine if the content that I'm providing you with is worth it, right? And if you did not subscribe yet towards the channel, I would really appreciate if you do so because it will help me grow and grow my reach 
into helping more business owners experience the power of chatbot marketing. For now, have a great day, take care, and I will talk to you really, really soon.